Hey, you guys, how is everyone doing? I hope um, you all are doing amazing. I'm just jumping on um, just to share with you guys my heart. Uh, this is more of me just being a little vulnerable. And, you know, certain times as the Lord leads, I'm just going to share with you guys, you know, my personal journey and uh, just kind of things that I went through and things that I experienced during this process because I have been standing for a while. And hopefully some of these things that I share with you about my journey will be a blessing to some of you. I pray it'll be a blessing to all of you, but you know, my message and my journey and my story may not be for you and that's okay. But um, I'm for certain that there's some of you out there that is watching and can say, hey, I can relate to your story. I can relate to your journey and um, the things that God uh, brought you through. But I was just sitting here pondering to myself with the Holy Spirit, and I know oftentimes this journey of us standing as kingdom wives can be difficult. This standing as kingdom wives can be discouraging. And there's times where I know I felt like just giving up because I'm like, this it's just not worth it. Like, how is this worth it, God? Like, why am I having to go through all of this? What is your purpose in all this? What are you trying to teach me all this? And this, these are the things that I would ask myself in the beginning, like when God literally just revealed to me who my kingdom husband was. And after some time of me standing and me not seeing that revelation come to pass, I begin to, you know, ask God questions, not necessarily question him as in a disrespectful or, um, you know, not showing reverence to him, but just, you know, sharing with him my heart and like, you know, God, why am I going through this? Why is this taking so long? Why would you choose this route for me to take? You know, why couldn't it have been just a regular love story like everybody else? <laughs> why do I have to have this peculiar? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this word. Why do I have to have this peculiar love story? Why does my love story have to be so different from everyone else's? Why can't I just have that regular love story that you see on the TV screens or you see in real lives with other people, you know, how they, you know, they meet the love of their life and, you know, they fall in love and they get married and voila, you know, <laughs> end of story. Why do I have to go through all of these ups and downs and I have to jump all of these hurdles and overcome all these obstacles just to get to <laughs> this husband of mine that you say is my kingdom spouse, right? And during this time, you know, the Lord began to deal with my heart and he began to deal with my mind. And the Lord revealed to me, he said, I'm teaching you how to love. I'm teaching you how to love. And I pondered on that because I'm like, God, I know you've called us all to love right? But I don't have a good track record with love. I didn't have the best childhood when it came to me being shown love as a child. And as far as relationships, I carried that trauma into each and every relationship that I was in. And all the relationships that I was ever in were you know, mentally abusive, physically abusive, emotionally abusive. So I never got to really see a perfect picture of, of love like I, I needed to see. So I'm like, God, why would you choose me to be the one to show this type of love when I barely understand or know what love is myself? And what when it really hit me hard is when i found out you know that my kingdom husband had you know kind of went into this counterfeit relationship 
And in the beginning, I felt like I was just kind of holding it all together. I'm like, okay, God, I know you're going to do it. I know you're going to perform this miracle. I know this is going to happen according to your timing. I'm going to continue to wait. I'm going to continue to stand. And, you know, I would have my times where I would kind of be up and down, you know, because of the process. But overall, I'm like, okay, God, I know in your timing, you're going to do this. I'm just going to wait on you and trust you. But when I found out about the counterfeit relationship, it just kind of took me on this little, this downward spiral. And I didn't understand, like, why would you allow it? Like, why would you allow the man that you said is my kingdom husband to get into a counterfeit relationship? You could have stopped it. You could have intervened. You know, you could have did something to keep that relationship from taking place. And God said to me, I'm teaching you how to love. I'm teaching you how to love. This is your assignment. This is what I created you for. This is your higher calling. And some of us kingdom wives have been called to go higher. Help me, Holy Spirit. Some of us kingdom wives have been called to go higher. God is wanting to do a new thing. He is wanting to work out in our lives something different, something that no one else has seen before, something that the world and other people from the outside looking in would not believe, would sit here and say, oh, well, you're crazy. Oh, well, you know, God didn't say this and he didn't ask you to do that. And you have all of this... um, this uh, opposition coming against you. And you're asking yourself, why, God, why? Why did you choose this rough path for me? Why did you choose this rigid path for me? Why did you put me on the road that is going to be less traveled? And God is saying he is giving you a peculiar love story, a profound love story, a love story that is unmatched, a love story that's not like anyone else's because it is your story. He created just for you. Don't be discouraged because Your story does not look like the next person's story because some of the things that you have to go through is not typical to every single relationship. I can literally look around and say, I've never met nobody personally that I can sit there and say, you know what? Your story of how you met your kingdom spouse or your husband is totally the same as the way I, you know, met my kingdom spouse. Now, there may be stories that are similar, but not the same. And it's not supposed to be the same because God created you different. He created your story uniquely. It's not to be compared with anyone else. So stop looking for somebody else's story to look like your story. Because I used to get uh, caught in that trap of like trying to find somebody (laughs) that had a similar story to mine so that it can make sense. And I still haven't found it. And I'm not going to find it because everybody's journey and story is different. Yes, there may be some similarities, but everything exactly to a T matching up, you're not going to find it because God created you for a unique 
path for a unique journey, a unique calling, a higher calling. It's not going to look like everyone else's. Don't be discouraged. God has called you to love in a deeper way. God has called you to demonstrate his love in a deeper way. God is trying to show you what love really is because we think we know what love is. But God is love. And God sacrificed his son for you. That's love. To sacrifice. To give up something. To lay down your life for someone. Just like Jesus laid down his life for you. Christ is trying to be manifested in you. So when people look at you, they know that Jesus is living in your heart because of how you walk out your life and how you're walking out your calling and how you're walking out what he has told you to do. Don't be discouraged. Your journey, your calling Your experiences, they are supposed to be different. God has called you to a higher love. Trust him. The pruning process, it hurts. And it's not enjoyable for a season, but this too shall pass. And you'll be able to look on the other side and see how God did his work in you. And when he finally does bring you and your kingdom husband back together, he's going to get all the honor and the glory and the praise. Because you submitted to his will. You submitted to the inner working of the Holy Spirit. You allowed him to have his way with you in your heart and in your mind and in your life. And not everybody is willing to take this road less travel, but you were willing And God is going to honor you for this. And God is going to bless you for this. And your love story is going to be bigger and better than what you could have ever dreamed or imagined. God is not playing about his daughters. God is not playing about his kingdom wives. He loves you and he sees you. Continue to stand. Continue to pray. Continue to intercede. Continue to stay in his word. Continue to trust him. And you're going to come out victoriously. I love you guys. I just wanted to share that quick word with you and I will see you the next time the Lord sends me back. Bye.